Hey guys, this is a video on recurrence relations when the master theorem fails. So on some of my previous videos, I have the master theorem and a few examples. Um, but for recurrence in this form down here, where it says t of n equals 4 times t of n divided by 2 plus n squared divided by natural log of n, uh, the other way does not give you an answer. You, you can't solve this recurrence using the master theorem in some of my other videos. So here I'm going to show you a way to solve it, and it's very simple, plug and chug again. So for recurrence relations in this form, where you have a times t of n divided by b plus theta of n to the power of d log base k of n, where a and b are both uh, constants, uh, specifically a has to be greater than or equal to 1, and b has to be uh, greater than 1. So and, and D is greater than 0. So we have this equation here, or this formula. So if D is equal to log base B of A, then we can use this here. Then T of N is big theta of N to the power of D log to the power of K plus 1 of N if k is greater than or equal to 0. If k is equal to negative 1, then t of n is theta n to the power of d times log of log of n. Okay, and if k is less than negative 1, then theta is n to the power of log base b of a. So let's go ahead and use this to figure out the answer down here. So our a is equal to 4, our b is equal to 2, and our uh, equation here is uh, uh, our theta of n to the d log base k of n. So our d value is 2, so d equals 2. And our k value is negative 1. So k equals negative 1. And this is a natural log, so we can really we can put base 10 there. And that will allow us to solve this. So let's figure out. We said that if d equals log base b of a, so if 2 is equal to log base 2 of 4, well that just equals 2, so they are equal, then we can do this here. So then our t of n is equal to one of these three cases. So now our k value is negative 1, so we look at the case where uh, k is negative 1, and here we have our answer. So uh, using the Massa theorem, uh, therefore, since k uh, is equal to negative 1, comma, t of n belongs to, and I probably should have put belongs to instead of these arrows here, but that's fine as well. Uh, t of n belongs to big theta of n to the power of d log of log of n and our d value was 2 so it's n to the power of 2 um, log of log of n and so that's literally the answer I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys can use this uh, this form this method here to to solve master theorem, uh, I'm sorry, to solve recurrence relations that the master theorem cannot solve in the form of theta n to the power of d log to the power of k of n. So using this makes it a lot easier. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe, leave comments, and I will definitely try to answer your questions the best I can. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.